Welcome to this uh, vodcast on theorizing. I'm Dr. Walters. The vodcast is designed to assist you in the completion of your final paper on theorizing. Remember, this is a one-page paper with a diagram. Focus and be brief. This is not a doctoral dissertation. Life is messy. My recommendation as you begin thinking and organizing the information is that you return to the material in the folder for Unit 1, where we first discussed theorizing. We often find ourselves wandering about in chaotic situations, situations of the unknown, which has been much the case with the massive onslaught of this unknown, mutating disease that has wreaked havoc on our social relationships, our economy, and on our sense of order. Our sociological task is to put sociological concepts, the work of earlier theorists, and all the data we have to work in making sense of the chaotic world around us. We begin with guessing or theorizing, that is, using our conceptual apparatus to frame meaningful questions about the social world that might be answered with data. Can we learn to theorize in the same way that we learn research methods? Going back to the first unit, remember that theory involves two distinct processes. The creative act, which matters when the theoretical framework or the theory or the guess is being created, and a second process, which is sometimes retrospective, but it cleans up and organizes our guesses using scientific logic and the methodological rigor in a context of something like the justification of our theorizing. Karl Popper, in his book, The Logic of Scientific Discovery, noted these same two processes, which he called logic and use, or reconstructive logic. The first is the context of discovery, and the second applies to the context of justification. Nonetheless, a key message, it's almost impossible to study theoretical creativity. Again, remember how puzzling the concept of abduction was when we first encountered it? That inexplicable eureka in the creative process? The moment when our tacit knowledge from the experience in the world, keen observations, study of data and text, and our unique capacity for abstract thought converge in a discovery, a theory, a guess, that explains something we see differently. What are the steps that lead from this observation to theorizing? Mostly in theory and theorizing, but especially in teaching, we rely on stages and steps which may be slightly different than what you learned in the scientific method. But remember, we're on the front end. We're before the organization of a, a, a data collection, or organized data, data collection and analysis uh, study. We're on the front end, on the theorizing end, Real theory begins with empirical observations, naming and formulating the central concept, building out the theory, and then completing a theory, including an explanation. Again, we're not working on doctoral dissertations, we're working on 
a one-page theory paper. Because we've been robbed of the possibility of going out and observing the social world, and then empirical data that might explain it, I thought we might begin with something familiar, the social and intellectual world of CUNY and Queens College. One of the most frequent statements about CUNY and Queens College, CUNY propels almost six times as many low-income students into the middle class and beyond as all eight Ivy League campuses plus Duke, MIT, Stanford, and Chicago combined. This is a form of social mechanisms, one that transforms individuals and institutions in a series of acts or series of stages and steps. And here are some data. Uh, these were shared with us by Professor uh, Dean Savage, and they come from uh, the CUNY Wage Dashboard. These are graphs also created by Dean Savage from the same data set that he has shared with us. Salaries of Queens College Sociology Baccalaureate graduates after one year, three years, five years, and 10 years. The data were assembled by Stephen Sheets at the CUNY Central Office of Institutional Research. They are available on the CUNY Wage dash Dashboard site, which you can also find uh, in, the, in the course site. And the, the file, the entire files, were assembled by Dean Savage, Professor Emeritus of Sociology at Queens College. Uh, Professor Savage has also shared with us other data. You can go directly to the CUNY Wage Dashboard, if you wish, and locate data by college, gender, years after graduation, race and ethnicity, and program. Here are data I find to be fascinating. These were, again, shared with us. Uh, you can find them in an Excel file on the course site. They were shared by uh, Professor Savage. But you can look at these data and compare different ethnic groups or different genders. And you can also look at the trend data over time. I find these data to be fascinating, and especially some of the surprising features of the long-term trends. You can also find data for psychology. And for those of you who may be interested, uh, Dean Savage has also provided us with Excel data on uh, biology. You may find the the comparisons across these majors, and especially by ethnic group, to be fascinating. You can also search and compare the Queens College data with data for Queens County, New York. You can go to the site, which is linked on the course site. You can find their data by year for wage and gender in different common jobs. Go to the Queens County, New York site, scroll down the page for these data. And you can also find data by year for wage and ethnicity in common jobs in Queens. Another interesting and important source of data is Social Explorer. For those of you who may already know how to use it, it's available through uh, the Queens Library. But in Social Explorer, you can find, uh, here's a, go to this section of Social Explorer, which is already pieced together for you. You can find data by age, race, education, sex, income, uh, or industry. And you can locate the data by county, or, as is uh, present here, you can locate the data even by census tract, which is a small little feature right, right up in the corner. And here, this, the, the insert is on, again, data by 
uh, different data for different uh, ethnic groups. Returning to our main claim, uh, CUNY propels almost six times as many low-income students into the middle class. We can look at, as we have, uh, the data and compared it to other groups in Queens to verify whether or not this is true or false and true or false for all groups. But we can also look at some of the mechanisms by which graduation takes place by looking at support programs or various support programs within Queens College. You might find here a way to articulate the ideas of social mechanisms, situational mechanisms, role sets, individual action mechanisms, and transformational mechanisms that create emerging outcomes and groups within the functional departments at the college. Is Queens College a cosmopolitan canopy, or is it something else? As you systematize your thinking, add concepts from the readings in this and other courses. Piece them together to build out a theory. Complete the theory by offering an explanation, a hypothetical explanation, a guess that is falsifiable, one that can be tested with data. You do not need to test the theory, and your theory can be wrong. So here is the map that looks like a subway map with you are here. Your diagram does not have to look like this, but it does need to connect individual action mechanisms to larger social entities at the mezzo and the macro level. I, I wish you a lot of luck with this paper. I'm looking forward to reading them. Uh, I hope this presentation is helpful. And please feel free to ask questions or any questions you have.